Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at why garlic makes breath smell bad. There are a few things going on to cause this bad smell, but principally the root cause is various sulfuric compounds from the garlic. Initially, most of the bad breath resulting from eating garlic comes directly from the sulfuric compounds introduced into your mouth. Garlic also promotes the growth of some of the microbes in your mouth that already cause bad breath, which further exacerbates the problem. You may have noticed that even if you brush your teeth, rinse with mouthwash, and other such methods to clean out these compounds and various microbes from your mouth, the bad breath caused by garlic still remains to some extent. This has to do with the fact that some of these sulfuric compounds get metabolized, eventually making their way into your bloodstream. The primary smelly culprit here has been found to be allyl methyl sulfide, which is passed into the blood during the digestive process. Once it's in your blood, it gradually gets passed out of your body through various bodily excretions, which includes being exuded through your pores and also passed into the air that fills your lungs. So as you breathe, the air goes into your lungs and is contaminated by the allyl methyl sulfide. This in turn causes your breath to continue to smell even after you've cleaned your mouth out. As mentioned, this sulfuric compound will not only find its way into the air in your lungs, but also be exuded from your pores. This causes your whole body to smell, not just your breath. As you are excreting this sulfide, you essentially are wearing a stinky perfume. This effect lasts as long as it takes for your body to get rid of the stinky sulfuric compounds, which can be anywhere from a few hours to as much as a day after eating the garlic. Now as to why eating asparagus makes your pee smell. The smell in this case comes from the way that certain chemical compounds in asparagus break down inside people's bodies. This is why cooking asparagus in various ways does not result in the same smelly byproduct. The specific digestive enzyme that breaks down the compounds in the asparagus to produce the smell aren't present until you eat the asparagus. As to the specific resulting chemical compounds that ends up causing the smell, it has long been thought that it is from methanethyl. Methanethyl is a colorless gas that smells a bit like rotting cabbage. It is composed primarily of sulfur, but also contains hydrogen and carbon. More recent research by Robert H. White from the University of California proposes an alternative theory. White used gas chromatography mass spectrometry to try to identify the cause of the smell, and he concluded that it was actually from the S-methyl thioesters, specifically S-methyl thioacrylate and S-methyl thiopropanate. Thioesters, like methanethyl, are primarily sulfur-based, except they are formed from sulfur bonding with an acyl group. In either case, the ability of a particular person to produce the necessary smelly compound in their urine after digesting asparagus was thought to be a genetic trait unique to only some humans until relatively recently. Recent research done in France, China, and Israel all independently showed that this is not the case. Rather, all humans appear to produce the smelly compound, but only some humans can detect the smell. The ability to detect the smell or not is a genetic trait. Further, according to the study done in Israel, only about 22% of people have that genetic ability to smell the odor from the urine of people who have recently eaten asparagus. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We put out brand new videos seven days a week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.